these sweet williams to sort out to get planted out today is forecast to be our last mild day with temperatures just about 20 ish centigrade before tomorrow it's more like 10 so we thought it would be a good day to get them planted out so we have we did intend to put them in ages ago that bed didn't we yeah this one but we're leaving these sweet williams to see what happens but next the lookers year. though they're actually making an effort to so keep we'll, growing we'll see what happens to those so we're going to put these in this bed it's been dug over it's really an annual bed isn't it yeah we're going to have so we've sort of dug here, the annuals we? out and the idea is just to put a row of sweet williams so that we can fill it with annuals yeah. later so we're giving them a bit of grow more before we uh, put them in. They're just going to fork that in as you go along. I'll just give it a little tickle. So are these going to go in a row or are they going to be higgledy-piggledy? I was going to do just a row down this edge. I <laughs> just wondered. <laughs> just so we've got a space then left for yeah. other things. What do you mean, iggledy piggledy? Artistic wise, you know. <laughs> that comes later. To sort of, you know, annoy other people. Who <laughs> <laughs> like straight rows? Yeah. Is that the tray? I emptied it. I thought I had one or two left in. One. Where did that go? It's just, I don't know, I put it with these. Ah, uh, right. So a change of plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of down one side, more than I thought, so they've gone down the edges yep. with the bit in the middle left for hopefully some annuals later on. Right. Bed dug all right didn't it? Yeah it's all right. It's actually surprisingly dry. It is isn't it? I thought it'd be quite wet. Yeah so I'll give these a good watering when I've finished. Right, I'm going to go down now and cover those carrots. Okay. I'm going to start now and uncover this second bed of carrots. Uh, first one, not so good, probably threw half of them away. Rotting due to the wet weather, I think. So they were grown in trenches in weed control fabric. These are, as Sue described them, free range. So I'm going to take a net off. I'm assuming we'll try and keep the leaks at this end covered. So I'm going to start, see what things look like when I uh, remove this net.
So I've had to resort to my trusty diagram to see what these carrots are. So the first row is Flacky, Sweet Candle, Romance and then some Aaron and must have been a few top weights left. Didn't think we had any. Be interesting to see what they've done over this side. And as a matter of uh, information, these carrots were sown on the 4th of June this year. So they've certainly grown well in here. Don't think I've got any problems with that. Tops look pretty good. Have a look now and see what we can see on, on the roots before I start digging them up. So if we have a look in here, these should be flacky. As you can see in there, looks to be some decent carrots in there. It's just how much damage there is to them. And if we move in a row, if I can weave my way in, those there should be sweet candle. So I'll start lifting these and just see what they look like. As you uh, may have noticed from that, I obviously had my diagram the wrong way around. So I'm starting sort of, and these are air and top weight at the other side, and then it will be romance. So I'll carry on now, seeing what I can get up. There is much less damage so far on this side than the other side. So carrots in this second bed are up. First impressions, they've done better than they had around the other side. There's some slug damage, some carrots have split, but none have rotted around this side. It's a bonus really, isn't it? Because we only usually have one do, bed of yeah. carrots. It was only because we thought the other lot weren't growing yeah. that we planted these anyway, or sowed them. A quick look at how these have turned out. So this lot here are uh, flacky. A few have grown with two roots, but it's not really a There's problem. There's one with two roots. That's well, got more than... Up, that's got four. Yeah. But they'll use, don't they? That's got two. Three. Yeah, I mean, they all, they, you can use them, it's not that you yeah. can't use them. It's quite a lot of those. Yeah. And then while we're passing, they're the rubbishy ones that I'm not going to bother trying to sort through those. The ones at this end are... Ah, sweet candle? Sweet candle, I think. These have done pretty well. There's quite a few with more than one root. Say, don't bother us. Can you use both roots? Just split them, don't we? Yeah. Before we, cut and if them it's up. just a little short root, you can just cut it off and assume it's waste. Yeah. So I'll head around the other side now. I'll step over these. So we didn't think we had any top weight this side, but we did have a few when I looked on the plan. Did much better than Strange, last side. Strange, because there was hardly any seed left, so that's mm. from very little amount of yeah, seed. But done much better than the ones around the other side. They're very inconsistent again, they though, are, aren't yeah. they? Uh, they're romance. Again, not a lot of damage to them. 
got a lot of got two roots, but I think that's just, just our just soil, just our isn't soil, it? soil, isn't it? We just put up with it. And finally, we've got Aaron. Um, the only problem I'll say with Aaron is if it gets too big, it seems to split at the bottom. Well, the other problem, I think, is that... They're not a great shape, are no, they? No. They're not, they're not a usable sort of a shape, no, really. So we won't be trying them again. No, we'll I don't try something think so. else. That's a funny one. Yeah, three-rooted Aaron. <laughs> yeah. So that's um, so that's another bed bit of bed digging. cleared. Now that's all we have to it's do just now. the leaks at the end. Twist the roots off. Twist the stems off. Something's just bitten my neck. It wasn't me. I think it was. It felt ladybirdish, but I didn't think they bit. Right, I'll get on sorting these out and ready for home. Right.